talk about how to square any number which ends with 0.5 i will start with the simple example and then we'll go to the more difficult ones uh, so let me start with the 10.5 so if i have to take square of this number so what will i do is first i will not take 0.5 i'll just take the number itself so that's 10 and i'll do square of this that will be equal to 100 and then i will just add 10 again with the 25 in the end so 0.25 in the end so the answer will be equal to 110.25 so please remember that the 0.25 will remain same for any number so let me do another example so suppose if i have 20.5 and i'm doing square of this so that will be equal to 20 square uh, that's uh, 400 and then I will just add 20.25 in the end so that will be 420.25 that's the answer um, if we can go to more difficult ones so suppose if I have 25.5 uh, square that will be equal to 25 square that is 625 and then we add 25.25 in the end so the answer will be equal to 650.25 so that's the answer and uh, this uh, method can also be used to uh, do some uh, squares for the larger digits for example if i have uh, six uh, zero five and i want to do square of this number so i can also write this as 60.5 square into 100 right and we know how to do 60.5 square so that should be equal to uh, 60 square this is 3600 plus 60.25 so that will give me 3660.25 into 100 or multiply by 100 so that will be equal to 3660.25 so that will be the answer uh, let's do another example so suppose uh, if I have one zero five square so in that case uh, it will be uh, 10.5 square into 100 and we know that the answer will be for this one is one one uh, zero point two five and if we are multiplying it by 100 that will be equal to 11025 right so how did we come up with this method so that's very easy so pause if you have uh, a number let me say uh, x plus 0.5 and we are doing square of this number so that will give me x square plus x plus 0 0.25 right so that's how you come up with this method so this is just x square and uh, then i'm adding x and 0.25 because 25 is always in the end so so the, this number will always remain constant and this number will vary based on how the number is changing uh, let's try uh, one more example so suppose if I have one one zero uh, five and I want to do square of this number so in that case I can write it as one hundred and ten point five square uh, into hundred right so one hundred and ten square so that will be equal to one twenty one zero zero and then 110.25 one, 
so that will be equal to one two two one zero point two five into hundred so answer is one two two one zero two five so if you if you uh, don't think about this problem this way uh, it looks like uh, uh, the square of this number would be fairly complicated to do uh, if you do it by uh, regular methods so another example is uh, let's take uh, uh, 4 5 0 and uh, let's say 5 uh, in the end so how will I do square of this number so that will be equal to um, 450.5 right so square into 10 square so now uh, we know that we have to calculate 45 square so as we know that 45 square is equal to 4 multiply by 5 and then 25 in the end so that will be equal to 4 into 5 is 20 so 2025 right so you have to write 2025 and then we have two zeros in the end and then we write 450.25 so the answer will be equal to 2029.25 so we have to multiply by 100 anyway so the answer will be equal to this so this is the square of uh, 4505 uh, so this is how uh, you can get this uh, fairly complicated squ squaring done uh, easily using this method uh, however um, this method is limited to uh, having a 0.5 or 5 uh, in the end so i hope uh, this uh, video helps and i'll see you in the next video thank you